Welcome to Kingdom Reality, your gateway to deep insights into the truths and realities of God's kingdom. Dive deep into the teachings of esteemed teachers of God's Word as they illuminate the mysteries of Scripture, offering priceless wisdom and revelations. Our channel serves as a beacon of enlightenment, guiding seekers on a transformative journey towards understanding the essence of divine truth and purpose. Join us as we explore the depths of spiritual reality and embark on a quest for genuine understanding and spiritual growth, revealing kingdom realities. Are you ready to achieve the extraordinary? In Extraordinary Results, Apostle Joshua Selman reveals the secrets to unparalleled success. Discover how to unlock your potential with divine strategies and insights. Learn the principles that lead to consistent, exceptional outcomes. Experience transformation and elevate your life to new heights. Apostle Joshua Selman, guiding you to achieve extraordinary results in every area of your life. Father, we give you all the praise. Let's lift our hands in one minute and just bless his name. We're going to pray for a few minutes and then we we'll have a lot to do tonight. Father, bless you. Lift your voice and bless him. Ask him to bless you tonight. Jesus, we bless you. Jesus, we bless you. We're faithful. We honor you. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. To you be all the glory in the name of Jesus. We're going to pray in tongues. Please hold your hands together. Please, guys, come up. You can come. Just hold the mic. Worship team, you can excuse them for a while. Um, Benga, come up. Promise we're going to pray very seriously in tongues. Remember, I told us we are pushing some things in the spirit. Praise the Lord. After we've prayed, let's pray. There's still space. Kenny, Kenny, Pastor Alpha, come up. Let's just fill the mics. We're going to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I'd like you to lift your voice. Say after me, in the name of Jesus. Shout it again. Say, in the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare that every stronghold attempting to stop prophecy from manifesting in my life, I challenge you right now. Lift your voice and pray. Oh, she Thank <laughs> you. 
Lord, in the name of Jesus, the spirit of ancestry and the covenants of the fathers affecting my lineage and wanting to affect my life, I decree and declare I've been called out of every tribe, every tongue, every nation. Release me now. Release my destiny. Lift your voice and say, Release me in the name of Jesus. The ordinances of darkness, the spirit of ancestry. voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. The spirit of a hard life. The spirit of hardship. A hard life. Pray, pray, pray. Lift your voice and pray. of darkness sitting on my glory stopping it from manifesting I curse you in the name of Jesus lift your voice and prophesy I command my life to shine I command my life to shine the Bible says arise shine for your light is come I decree and declare it's my season of triumph One more time in the name of Jesus. Every force stopping my helpers from reaching me through bad reports, through divination, through misguided reports. I command in the name of Jesus that the Lord is against you. Release my helpers to my destiny. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray. Whether you understand what you are praying or not, pray. Open your mouth and pray. Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yet the set time, the set time, set time, the set time. I like you to pray this one.
Say the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit. Every spirit that makes men trivialize my gifting. That, that makes men trivialize the anointing on my life. That makes men trivialize what God is doing to me. I come against you right now. In the name of Jesus. It's my season of celebration. Lift your voice and prophesy. The spirit that causes men to trivialize what you represent. To trivialize what God is doing in your life. Locate my destiny now. Lift your voice and pray. Pray, pray, lift your voice and pray. Like the bones in the valley of the city, I command let bones be joined to bones. Opportunity joined to opportunity. Favor joined to favor. for God program to kill my appetite for the world I come against you right now lift your voice and redeem your prayer life lift your voice and redeem your, your world life I want you to pray this. Praise the Lord. Brothers, when we raise this prayer and I see any brother looking at me and you are not praying, I walk up to you and hold your hand. It's a serious prayer. Say in the name of Jesus, the grace for speedy establishment, Lord, release it upon my life. Lift your voice and pray. The grace that causes men to be established on time. There is a cause of darkness that causes men to be established late. At 40, you are still in your father's house. At 40, you are still living from hand to mouth. It's a cause. Please pray. Please help us on the Establish me. Send me help from Zion. Establish me on time, on time, on time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone pray this 
but I want our sisters to pray this with all your heart. Say in the name of Jesus. 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 The spirit of unnecessary lateness. The spirit of unnecessary lateness. Lateness in life. Financial lateness. I curse you in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. It should happen on time. It should happen on time. There is a time allocated. Every time is not convenient. There is a time allocated. Name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, Father, I know it is within your power to turn, power to turn my life around. I ask you, in the name of Jesus, turn my life around. Lift your voice and pray. Change my story, turn my life around. Pray, pray, do a new thing, do a new thing. What has not been done before? Not the same kind of miracle, not the same kind of breakthrough, to a new thing, something that has never happened before. one more prayer. He says, son of man, can this be? And the prophet said, honestly, I've been a prophet. Oh, prophesying is not something that is new, but this for this case, I don't know. And then he said, prophesy. He didn't say discuss. He didn't say cry. In one minute, I'm not going to tell you what to say, but I want you to stand and look at your destiny. I want you to prophesy. Carry the word of God like a drum. Put it on your destiny. My destiny, I speak to you. You are alive. Hear the word of the Lord. I command you to rise. I command you to go. I program favor in you. Pray. I program breakthrough in you. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus. I speak to my destiny. You are a manifestation of the word of God. You are a manifestation of the faith of God. You are the manifestation of the goodness of God. I take away pain from my destiny. I take away regret from my destiny. I take away sorrow from my destiny. I prophesy goodness. I prophesy joy unspeakable, full of glory. Oh, my God. 
Please lift your hands. You say thou shalt you lift your hands. In the name of Jesus, you have prayed. I decree over your life. The Lord has declared that this is a year of triumph. We are angry and we are insisting that it must happen. Therefore, I decree and I declare that if there is anyone under the sound of my voice, under any kind of siege, that will not let you see the faithfulness of God, I decree and I declare right now, that power leaves your life right now. That force leaves your life right now. Hallelujah. We're about to listen to the word. While your hands are lifted, I want to do an impartation of understanding. Listen. Most people think they know, they understand scripture. It's not true. I decree and I declare, I stretch my hands towards you. May the spirit of understanding, capacity to comprehend the systems of the kingdom, I release it upon you right now. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. I open your understanding. I open your understanding. I open your understanding. I command your mind to be receptive. I decree that your spirit will be the signal in the name of Jesus Christ. Please sit down if you can. God bless you. Good evening. Brothers and sisters, the weeks that are coming will really mean business. You know, I've been saying this. I know it in my spirit when a reality has been declared to manifest from the realm of the heavens. But you know that it is not yet your experience. There is no believer who sits down knowing what God has ordained for your life and watching the enemy play games with your life and you sit down and hope things will change no sir you have to engage with understanding engage with understanding until that which is yours comes to you the bible says right from the days of john the baptist and until now he says the kingdom suffered violent and the violent the violent spiritually violent those who will insist and say i'm not taking anything less than this promise of god's word they are the ones who take it by force i am passionate about results i never never associate with anything that does not have capacity to produce results i am a result driven person this is a result driven ministry the fierceness of life does not allow for stories and grammar people want real results in their lives and let me tell you this if you're a man of god here listen to me no matter what you claim to be doing if it does not translate into genuine results you are wasting people's time it's as simple as that herein is our father glorified 15 verse 8 john hearing this is how god takes glory from men when ye bear much fruit when your results are notable beyond argument notable beyond sentiment he said by so doing you will prove that you are my disciples you will prove that you have sat down under my mentorship and tutelage your results validate the efficacy of the teaching ministry of the holy spirit when our lives are barren of certain dimensions of results it's an indictment on the person and the ministry of the holy spirit results that defy background results that defy the expectations of naysayers and men and women who look forward to your failure as their self-fulfilling prophecy but you must contend for it 
hallelujah i've been thinking you know i've been thinking about you all through the week my mind has just been lord there are dimensions that we must enter before the end of this year the word of god will not go void when god speaks it is within his power to make it happen are we together but it is always been a partnership it's always been that way that the heavens must partner with the earth for realities to be established here and so my assignment is to scan through and make sure that we tie every loose end that can force or that can can sabotage this prophecy from finding expression my job is to search and find out and to remind us and indoctrinate us with the truths that are capable of bringing results results that are predictable results that are consistent results that have nothing to do with the wishes of men hearing is our father glorified hearing if you have ever wondered how god takes glory from men this is how it happens when you bear much fruit much fruit much fruit not little fruit much fruit when results become um become notable notable and consistent it will compel any force of darkness regardless of sentiment to know that the hand of god is upon your life hallelujah every dimension in the spirit has a price every level every dimension of greatness has a price and by the grace of god he has granted us this privilege as a ministry to laboriously open god's people to the demands the price requirement the cost dimension of certain results that we need i am passionate about connecting people's desires to the formula and the principles that have been designed for those outcomes to manifest it is one thing if you can tell me what you want if you can tell me what you desire i can show you the mystery that is allocated for that result there is a price i wish everything where would just happen without your cooperation but that's not the way the system of god works there is a price the price we are talking about is the price of alignment the price of partnership because you see the operation of the system of the kingdom as we have learned is such that it comes by grace but it says through faith they are not the same thing by grace made available through faith the summation of your partnership that causes that reality that is available grace makes it available it creates the possibility but your engaging the word accordingly makes it your experience grace does not make it your experience grace opens it up it lets you know that this is a possibility contained in god i've shared it with you that the grace of god is not redemption no redemption is a subset of god's grace god's grace is a generic description of any and everything that only god can provide it's called his grace so the anointing is god's grace his mercy is a dimension of his grace his love is a dimension of his grace any possibility that should be the experience of men that can only be provided for by god is his grace grace never makes it your experience it creates the potential for redemption for healing for blessing for increase for multiplication but then it takes faith and most people have thought that 
the only aspect of faith is to believe and confess no sir mm -mm. Mm -mm. no that's only an aspect of faith faith is a generic name given to everything that involves the partnership of man the first key to partnership is finding out the formula god has provided for receiving that miracle understanding it by the help of the spirit and then taking relevant steps in accordance to what he has said this is what the bible calls faith believing is only an aspect of faith confessing is only an aspect of faith that's not all there is to it if you stop there you will be in total shock you can believe that prosperity is your heritage you can confess it is your heritage and stop and don't engage the other forces and you will remain in poverty and penury forever you can believe is god's desire for you to be great listen carefully you can confess that it is god's desire for you to be great and not engage the other forces of greatness value relationships skill and find out you never rest are we together now yes so when we learn the systems of the kingdom we are bringing ourselves to the point of faith where we are able to act with understanding and intelligence it is only when our obedience is complete that we commit god's integrity and then he is compelled to make it happen this is how angels work angels don't work at random angels signify things revelations 1 verse 1 the bible says the revelation of jesus christ which he gave unto his servant john he said and he sent it and signified it by his angel angels act in accordance to understanding their action accredits that you are doing something right so they don't just act at random just because they are there no there is what to do that engages them because they are governed they are supervised by the holy spirit it is the office of the holy spirit that supervises the operation of angels they don't just move anyhow and do everything that your eyes are open in the realm of the spirit and you see them near you is no guarantee they will rescue you hallelujah is god speaking to us so we must find out the things that we need to understand to help us excel brothers and sisters god sees my heart and how much passion that i have to see every one of us rise i will share with us a few things most of them recaps so that we re-evaluate whether we have been practicing these things and then we'll pray are you ready mm. the first price for doing business with god and making any name and anything that is sustainable on earth please write it down if there is a title for this thing i will call it the price wherever we stop i'm i'm re we are going back to the laws the systems of the kingdom there is no other way to get results than a comprehension, a working knowledge, an understanding of the systems of the kingdom alongside how we are to engage them. This is how results are produced. The first price is the price of intimacy. The price of intimacy. Have you been touched by the message you just heard and you want to give your life to Jesus or you want to rededicate your life to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then say this short prayer. Lord, I admit I am a sinner. I need and want your forgiveness. I accept your death as the penalty for my sin and recognize that your mercy and grace is a gift you offer to me because of your great love, not based on anything I have done. Cleanse me and make me your child. Be faithy receive you into my heart as the Son of God and as Savior and Lord of my life. From now on, help me live for you, with you in control. In your precious name, amen. Congratulations.
Congratulations to you! If you have just said that prayer, you are now a child of God. Look around you for a Bible-believing church, and also ask Jesus to direct you to the church where you can continue to serve Him. Consider subscribing to this channel too, so that you'll keep learning the realities of God's kingdom. God bless you!